Hey guys, it's Aislin, and in today's video, we're gonna be trying some new products from Bath & Body Works. And yes, you heard me right. Bath & Body Works released hair care items. So I went ahead, I went in the store, I smelled around, and I chose my favorite scent. So I went ahead and I got shampoo and conditioner, and I also got some dry shampoo. So I think these are the only three items they're offering right now. Shampoo, conditioner, and dry shampoo. And honestly, I think this is a pretty good idea. I mean, Bath & Body Works is already doing body care items. Why not like expand and do some hair care stuff too? I personally love the idea of having one uniform scent. I like to stack my scents. I don't really like to mix scents. So I like to have the same lotion, the same body wash, the same perfume. Like I like all of it to be pretty consistent. So I love the idea of your hair smelling like your body. So I went ahead, I grabbed the scent at the beach because you know it's about to be summertime. Look at the cute holographic packaging. We got the shampoo and the conditioner. These are really, really large. And also they are $16.95 for this bottle, which is actually pricey when you think about it. Bath & Body Works is always having sales. And if you're a member, I'm a member. So like I get coupons all the time. So I actually got 25% off of these. And sometimes they also send you like free um, body item up to a certain amount so you could get like a shampoo for free. So the shampoo retailed for $16.95, the conditioner retailed for $16.95 as well. And then the dry shampoo retailed for $14.95. So it does seem more expensive now that I look at it individually, but when I was paying, I was actually pre pleasantly surprised with how like inexpensive it was. So let's go in with the first item. This is the dry shampoo. On the back, it says revives hair between washes, leaving hair feeling healthy and nourished. So let's see if it makes my hair feel healthy instead of dry. For the directions, it says hold can six to eight inches away from your hair, then spray. Allow 30 seconds to dry, then gently tousle for fresh feeling, great smelling hair. I'm gonna put some here. Smells real good. I'm not seeing any white residue. So that's a plus, it smells so good. I'm not seeing any white residue. Pretty awesome. And it does not feel super dry like powder. Hmm. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to see if we get any of that white residue like to build up. Like I'm gonna try and make the white residue happen. I am not seeing any white residue. Literally none. And I got, what the heck is happening? Okay, so it's definitely not turning my hair white at all. It is not making my hair feel dry either. Whoa, I don't know how well this would work on like super, super um, oily hair. It definitely is not going to give you any volume. It's not a volumizing dry shampoo or anything like that. It actually feels very, very soft when I'm spraying it at my roots. It's drying up some of those oils, but it's not making my hair feel stiff. You know, sometimes you can use dry shampoos and it makes your roots feel almost like squeaky like it's like so dry it's like chewing on a cotton ball sorry but it's like chewing on a cotton ball that's like how it can make your roots feel this does not do that it does not make my roots feel like dry or like squeaky or anything like that my hair is not tangled it doesn't feel dry it definitely feels soft it left no white residue so i want to test it when my hair is like really 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 dirty and see how it performs i'm getting ready to dye my hair like bright colors again which means i'm not going to be washing it as often i'm not sure that it would be the best at absorbing oil it almost has an oily feel to it let me spray some it's a very, very light powdery feel. It's it's not super, super powdery. You know what this reminds me of? It's reminding me of a dry shampoo and a shine spray in one. Like it almost is like an oily dry shampoo. I know that sounds insane. That's the best way I can describe it. So it definitely seems like a very, very gentle dry shampoo. Again, curious to use this when my hair is very, very oily and see how well it works. I'm not sure it would work the best on super oily hair, but if your hair is a little bit oily, it will help to just like freshen it up and make it smell good. Honestly, I've used dry shampoos not to get the oil out of my hair, but just like make my hair smell good. Like I've literally just sprayed it in there to give my hair a little bit of like a perfume smell. So that might be more of like what I'm leaning towards for this. Let's move on to the next product, which is a shampoo 
and the conditioner. The shampoo on the back says, this moisturizing shampoo gently cleanses and hydrates hair to restore softness and shine. And it says it has vitamin B5, aloe, and vitamin E in it. The conditioner says, detangles and restores softness and shine when used with moisturizing shampoo, strengthens and protects against breakage while locking in moisture, safe for all hair types and color treated hair. So it says it's safe for color treated hair. This one also has vitamin B5, vitamin E, and aloe in it. And it says on the back, made without sulfates, parabens, or artificial dyes. The shampoo also says made without sulfates, parabens, or artificial dyes. So you guys, you can use this on brightly colored hair or colored hair, and it's gonna help prevent fading. That made me even more excited about the product. I figured it might be like a cheap shampoo vibe with like a bunch of sulfates that make it lather really well. But this is paraben and sulfate free. It's also vegan and cruelty free. And on the back, it says the bottle is made with 95% recycled plastic. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hand to see the consistency. She's looking thick, thicker than a snicker. It smells so good and it is super thick. I'm not gonna lie, she a thick shampoo and personally, I love a thick shampoo. I just feel like it works better and my hair feels cleaner when it's thick. So I'm actually gonna go use this off camera. I'm gonna wash my hair really well and I'll be right back to tell you guys my thoughts on the shampoo. And then we can move on to the conditioner which I am also very excited to try. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. We are back and honestly, this is the best lathering sulfate-free shampoo I have found yet. Normally when I use sulfate-free shampoo to try and like wash my hair when I have like brightly colored hair and I'm trying to preserve it, it takes a lot of product to get it to lather and it even takes a couple shampoos sometimes to get it to lather. But with this, I'm like, I'm a little like, is this actually from Bath & Body Works? Because I'm having a really great experience so far with this. Okay, so I just washed my hair, it lathered, super well, I didn't have to use a lot of product. The downside to that is my hair does feel pretty dry. Um, it does not feel like super soft and nourished. Definitely is feeling a little bit dry, but hey, let's go in with the conditioner and see if it can fix that. I'm curious to see if this is a thick conditioner or if it's a little bit thinner. It's looking kind of thick. I love me a thick conditioner and that is looking pretty freaking thick. Ooh, this feels like a deep conditioner. It smells good too. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna start with my ends. Working in my ends. This feels so good on my hair. I'm sure you guys can tell my hair is like a little bit tangly and dry from the shampoo. I'm really, really loving this conditioner. Wow, to be honest, I might start getting this conditioner for my husband to use. That's making my hair feel so much better and it's also helping detangle my hair a ton. It made my hair feel super, super soft. You guys see how like smooth my hair is right now and how easily my fingers are just gliding through my once very tangled hair. It smells really good. It's super, super thick and buttery. I really like this conditioner. I'm gonna let it sit for just a second. All right, I'm gonna go rinse this out and I'll be right back and let's see how my hair feels after the product is rinsed off. Let's see if it's as soft as it feels now. Rinsed out the conditioner. Let's see how my hair feels now. My hair feels really good. It doesn't feel as soft as it did with the conditioner on, obviously, but it still feels very soft. Not as soft, but it feels like when you use a typical conditioner and your hair feels nice and soft and silky. I am gonna blow dry my hair and I'm not gonna add in my normal leave-in products. Um, right now, Bath & Body Works doesn't have any leave-in products and I don't want to put any leave-in products in my hair that might like mess up or alter the way my hair feels. So I'm just gonna use these three products on my hair that I used today. I'm gonna blow dry it and I'll be right back and let's see if it was easy to blow dry or if I got any tangles and let's see how my hair feels once it's blow dried. All right, we are back and my hair is feeling pretty freaking soft. I am actually impressed at how soft my hair feels right now. I feel like you can see it. Like I don't think I have as many flyaways as I normally have and also, I feel like you can just see the softness and the shine of my hair right now. It is very, very silky and it's not tangled at all. I didn't get any tangles when I was blow drying. My hair just feels very, very soft and healthy. So here are my final thoughts on Bath & Body Works hair care. I think the dry shampoo is a little bit of like a hit or miss situation. Personally, I would not gravitate towards it. I don't think it's going to do the best job at absorbing the oils. I would, however, use it to like 
perfume my hair a little bit to make it smell nice throughout the day, but it's not gonna give you that like grit like a dry shampoo normally does, that like grit and that like, where you feel like your oils are really being absorbed. This is like a very, very soft dry shampoo. But if you have a lot of oils and you're trying not to wash your hair a bunch, I would say skip on it because I don't think it's gonna do the best job at absorbing a bunch of the oils. I really liked the shampoo and I will 100% use this when I have brightly colored hair. It's the best sulfate-free shampoo I've found. I love how thick it is. Um, it did make my hair feel a little bit dry, but the conditioner fixed that problem and made my hair feel super soft. My favorite product was obviously the conditioner. I love this conditioner so much. It made my hair feel so soft and buttery. Even now that it's dry, my hair still feels super soft and I didn't put any leave-in products in my hair. I literally just shampooed and conditioned my hair and that's it and my hair feels this soft. Overall, I am really impressed by Bath & Body Works hair care line. It performed so much better than I thought it would. I personally would not switch to using this every single day for my hair care, but I will definitely use the shampoo when I have colored hair, and I will occasionally use the conditioner, just like I rotate all my other conditioners, I will rotate and use this one as well. I also just really love that now you can match your shampoo and conditioner to the smell of your body wash or perfume or lotion. You would think that the shampoo and conditioner would be extremely strong in fragrance, but it's actually not that strong like it leaves a little bit of a smell on your hair but it's not overpowering it would not I don't think it would give you a headache it's not like super super strong it's like a nice soft subtle fragrance that I think would just go along with all the other lotions and body care items you already use. I will leave Bath & Body Works linked in the description down below. I recommend you guys go in store to like smell everything and like choose what one you like best, but I will leave it linked in the description down below for you guys. And if you aren't like a member, definitely get the app and become a member because you get a bunch of free stuff. They also have weekends where you get like 25% off your whole purchase. So I like don't go into Bath & Body Works unless I have a coupon or something to get for free. It's definitely worth joining and it's free. Literally just download the app and become a member and you get a bunch of free rewards. So yeah, that makes it even more affordable if you do get coupons and discounts. And a lot of the time they also have like buy three, get three free. So you could buy all three of these hair care items and get another shampoo, conditioner and um, dry shampoo for free. So they are always having deals. I know the price tag seems expensive, but you're almost never paying full value, like full retail value for these. They always have some sort of deal going on that makes them a lot more affordable. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.